Spanish archbishop apologizes for sexy music video filmed in cathedral. The Archbishop of Toledo in Spain recently released apology regarding the quote improper use of a sacred place in a sexy music video that was shot in the 13th century uh, Toledo Cathedral. The racy music video for the song Ateo, translation atheist, features artists C. Uh, Pangana and Nancy Peluso dancing sensually and passionately. Argentinian artist Nancy Peluso is seen dancing seductively as Tangana pulls her hair, while a priest and clergyman are seen peeking at her sheepishly from behind a cathedral pillar. Through the archdiocese statement, Archbishop Francisco Cerro Chavez asked for forgiveness and promised to ensure that nothing similar would happen again. However, the cathedral's dean insisted that the video, quote, expresses the story of a conversion through human love, not merely sexually inspired content. The name of the song is Atheist? Yes. How? Okay. Why are they apologizing? This is the most base thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Look, there's a name. The name of the song is Atheist, and they're converting people with their sex appeal inside a cathedral. I've never seen anything that is more. Wow, we, actually, we've like this is this is. <laughs> I, I thought we were the only ones who are doing stuff like this. Like amazing. The name of the song is Atheist. These people. Yes. Are, there's there's a music. There's a music video named Atheist, and it's being shot in a cathedral. Yes. And they're like priests the watch um okay. I don't know how to react to this. This is the most It's a really <laughs> cool music video. So as you can see we're playing it in the background and it's it's very meta and self-aware and the music video is actually about the outrage over the music video. So it shows them doing the hair and the pull in like the hair pulling and then everyone's tweeting about it on social media and there's you know the mobs and they're so angry about the sexuality and they're so outraged and appalled and then it becomes a major topic of like conversation and cultural commentary and um so the music video is like actually about the outrage itself that hadn't even happened they saw yet. And they saw the, it coming yeah 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 and the chorus of the song well part of the chorus is called i was it it's better in spanish because it rhymes but it's saying i was an atheist but now i believe um because oh a miracle God. like you has come down from heaven so <laughs> um it it it's better in spanish because ateo rhymes with creo meaning believer um oh. so it's saying i wasn't atheist but now i'm a believer but because it, it's saying like i i was i had no love but like you you must you must be a miracle from heaven because now i believe <laughs> in love again i believe in the religion of love again and because you're so like you turn me on and you tempt me and it's really cool <laughs> as is someone who grew up catholic i love the catholic imagery so much um so you see them dancing and doing bachata. I wish we could. Um, yeah, we would play the song, but we would get a couple. Yeah, obviously we can't where... play the music. Um, yeah, but yeah. the the hair pulling in the music video, which like features hev heavily, is actually a reference to a painting that is, I believe, in the cathedral of um, Toledo, that is um, featured in the cover art of the music, and you'll see it towards the end in a second, but. Um, it's the devil or like this little devilish creature, like pulling this woman by her hair to like keep her from going into heaven. So it's like about, um, being tempted and like this devil is tempting you and the temptation is keeping you from heaven. Um, but they're kind of like acting it out and they're dancing and being very sexy. Yeah. See here, you can see it see this like little devil oh, pulling on her hair yeah. as she's trying to go into the grave um mm. but then it's about like because of you i now believe in love i love it guys go check out the actual music video um why are they apologizing then given this that caused they huge so... controversy yeah good that's it wasn't that the point uh, causing, causing the controversy? yes but so 
what's kind of funny is this is like a hugely popular music video. Like now it's reached like 14 million views, I think. But okay, um, then why are they apologizing? The whole point was they already saw this coming. Like, is this as apology part of like the like the act? Okay, when we first published this, he the archbishop was apologizing, right? The yeah. update that happened oh. recently is oh, that sorry, he sorry. has actually performed a Catholic. Like, we have sacraments for these things. Because of this, he had to perform a like sacramental act of penitence. Mm. like old school stuff wait, wait yeah. let, let me let me i completely misunderstood the, the 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 people who are responsible for the music video they never apologize right no. it's, it's just the archbishop okay okay so yeah of course he would apologize yeah that's fine but but nobody responsible the like the artists themselves didn't apologize right um not that i'm aware of they good, paid good. to okay. use the cathedral and yeah. so it became this huge issue within the local archdiocese of how this was even allowed to happen. And um, the dean of the cathedral got in big trouble. In fact, he has since been fired. That's another mm -hmm. update of the story is that he got fired for his role in this. And he was the one saying that he's like, I actually think this is like a positive music video because it's about becoming a believer again. And at the end, yeah. it shows that they have a very amicable relationship with like the Catholic church. Cause it, it shows them at the very end, there's like a final sequence where they like take these cute pictures with like altar boys. Um, and it's about, you know, like the, 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 the being converted to love and all this stuff. And so he's like, I'm See? not taking the Dean of the cathedral was like, I'm not going to take back my comments on this. Um, mm. where he basically said, he's like, I think that th th this isn't a bad thing, but, um, he uh, did say that maybe it was his fault that it wasn't communicated to the archbishop that this was going to happen in this way and that there wasn't anyone from the church um, who was there to watch the filming or something. So they didn't actually know that it was going to be this, this sensual. Um, but I just love this. And then I, it wasn't until I was actually like going to go research and read about the story that I realized the name of the song was actually atheist. I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> you know this is um i i kind of a lot of people may be like oh they're well they're believers and they're like making the catholic i mean the way that they're this is being defended by like the the catholics by some catholics that is the process of secularization that i that i can get behind do you know what i mean like this is what the renaissance did um and then eventually led to the enlightenment the age of enlightenment right but because you are it's not it's not reform which i'm against because reform keeps the core of the religion but gives it another look uh, but secularization attacks the core right and keeps the look keeps the aesthetics so reform keeps the belief changes the aesthetics Re secularization keeps the aesthetics but removes the core beliefs Okay. And if you could, if people enjoy the imagery of religion without the core beliefs, keep the aesthetics. The aesthetics are not the problem. And if you want to enjoy love, if you want to define, if you want to say like, oh, God is love, then that's not the God that we have a problem with. This is not, you're completely redefining words here. And that actually that, I think this is the one of the most powerful ways for you to attack, to take down religion by using its imagery for, for a different kind of messaging right and then people could celebrate that if you want to talk about god as if it's lust or love or something then that's great because you're removing your the the appeal or the thing the sense of the, the thing if people are just attracted to those words and don't want to give up on it we could let them keep that by using those words for something else and then all of a sudden and using the imagery for something else and all of a sudden all the values that we hate and we want to uh, remove it's not there anymore right so this is the process of secularization of religion like look at what believer means here the believer the word believer like oh i was an atheist and now i'm a believer but what is the believer you believe in human love right you the, uh, the understanding of miracle for you is is whatever experience you're having with this between these these two couple, right? This is kind of like a 
Spinozian version of your, you know, God or whatever. You know, like what what some people do uh, with nature when it comes to deifying it, these people are doing it with love or lust, right? Uh, which is a different version of a Spinozian God, right? Or Ansanian God. And the good thing is a lot of religious people wouldn't even notice the change because a lot of different, a lot of religious people, I mean, some obviously a lot of them would come and look at this, but a lot of religious people might be easier for them to um, ease, ease into this when it comes to responding to modernity. Uh, because a lot of the religious people are into religion, not because of the beliefs, but because of the rituals and aesthetics. So if you get rid of the belief, they don't, they're not going to even miss anything, right? And I, I completely support that. Um, does that make sense what I'm saying? Oh, totally. And I agree. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm someone who has a horrible relationship with Catholicism, but an uh, obsessive relationship with uh, Catholic iconography, art, right. and, uh, yeah, the aesthetic of it. So for me, yeah. this is like peak music video. It's one of the best filmed and directed music videos I've seen like in a long time. The whole story of it is really cool, um, beautifully shot. And I think it's a, a, a perfect um, example of exactly what you're talking about, Armin, where it's like this, hmm. you don't have to be of this community to enjoy the, the beauty of um, the scenery and art that's in architecture that's fe featured in this. And this is exactly the entire philosophy behind why we do bla our blasphemous art, right? So, guys, if for people who don't know what we're talking about, go check out our uh, blasphemousart.com and check out our latest art. Oh, by the way, the latest art is Muhammad and uh, Rama, so check that out, <laughs> right? So th we, this is a whole, like, using religious imagery to do blasphemy or do offending content or concepts that offend religious sensibilities like that's exactly what these people are doing and the outrage is the point right because you're showing like you know you're bringing people and again the renaissance this is this already had happened like if you go look at renaissance painting you see religious imagery as a way to be used to bring modern concept that goes exactly against what the medieval Christianity was re being represented, right? That was the whole point of Renaissance. You have ideas of secularism and enjoying sex and lust and other values that goes against, you know, the church's value, but painted in the imagery of gods and goddesses and G even Jesus and, you know, the Last Supper and with a lot of hidden messages. So again, we're just falling in the same, and that, you know, you can see a lot of, sexuality being expressed in this art in this as well especially because religion stands against that and so a lot of people think criticize us for how sexual our art is but that is the entire point that, that the whole reason why our art is sexual is because something that is sexuality and enjoying sexuality and standing against that is like one of the, the main highlights is the, religion stands against a lot of harmless positive things but sexuality is the most obvious one out there right like the condemnation and the demonization of something so such a gift of nature to us um is the best example of bringing back things that this religion had stolen away from us and it could be uh, used as the highlight for everything else that religion has stolen away from us and that's why fighting against religious religious dogma is often shown in, in with, sec, with with very sexual art right so and that's exactly the whole point of our blasphemous art which go check it out and go support it guys blasphemousart.com uh, one other thing that was mentioned in the live chat that i want to keep highlighting is that is that we want to see this in a mosque one day Right, the live chat was mentioning this as as well, and I think we should make a blasphemous art of a very sexy dance, more sexy than this, right? In a blas in in a mosque, okay. And again, some people in the live chat were saying that they want to see this in Kaaba, and I agree. I, I want to yes. see what. And guys, again, I pro I don't make much pr many predictions, but this is a prediction that I am certain of. The only thing that the only thing that will stop this is complete human annihilation like actually i agree <laughs> yeah we will have gay men and women dancing on top of the kaaba one day 
oh on my God. top of it, on top of it, right at the roof, okay, doing the most sexual, obscene things possible, and people are, people are going to witness that globally, okay? And the Kaaba is going to be the, draped in rainbow color, you know, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a whole, it's going to be, it's going to be beautiful. Like, I, I, I'm visualizing it right now. Epic. It's going to be epic, and it will happen. It will happen unless we end the human race somehow. But it will happen. So I, I, I guarantee that, guys. When this happens, somebody in the future needs oh to God. remember that it was us first who predicted that this will happen. Okay, future generations. <laughs> You've said it you, so many times. Someone yeah, will you, make sure to clip it. <laughs> somebody like somebody like in the future, you are you. This is so unfair of you for you to be celebrating a gay pride parade or a sexual dance at the cab at the Kaaba without acknowledging the fact that it was us, me and Susanna here. Who first predicted that this will happen like if you don't give a like you, i can agree that morality hasn't progressed much in future if you don't give us credit for this okay there needs to be our name guys i want i want and i want our names to be hacked in the side of the kaaba as a thank you like i want to be like in memory yes i want there to be somebody in the, in the side of the kaaba when there's a gay pride parade in kaaba and it needs to be like in memory of Armin and Susanna, okay? Make it happen. <laughs> Future generations, make it happen. Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below